Club. I'm going to be using this Barbie filter today because I have a little cold sore, so this just covers it up, so it's great. Oh, oops. Hi, everybody. Um, welcome. Come on in, make yourself comfortable, make yourself at home. Before I list the things that you're gonna need for the painting process, first, you're gonna need some paper and a pencil and you're gonna want to draw a simple design of whatever it is you're drawing on, a shirt or a sweater, and you're gonna wanna draw your idea on that drawing. And you might be like, ah, that's not a necessary step, Michelle. You will be so glad if you take this extra step just to like solidify your idea because I've had ideas before and I put them down and then I don't like them and it's like so much more clear when you have the visual in front of you. So that's the first thing. You need a paper and a pencil to draw your idea, design it out, and then you're going to actually want to sketch a rough version of your drawing onto the fabric before you start. So if it's like a white cotton t-shirt, it's gonna be pretty doable with a pencil. If it's another kind of fabric that doesn't really allow you to draw with a pencil, you might wanna use something like a chalk pastel or something that isn't gonna be darker. Don't use ink at all. You don't need to be able to see it perfectly. It just has to be good enough for you to be able to paint over top of that. So all that's first, that's very, very important. Don't skip this step. Now here's the things you're gonna need to paint. Okay, so assuming you've already drawn on your design onto the fabric, the first step you're going to do is you're gonna take the ice tray you're going to add one tablespoon of warm water per section that you need. Like if you're using three colors, you would do this to three sections on the ice tray, okay? So then the second step is you put one drop of conditioner into each of those sections of the ice tray and you stir that up in each section until it dissolves. So then you take a tablespoon of paint and then you're gonna stir that up with the water and the conditioner. So it's equal parts water and paint with a drop of conditioner or so. Um, depending on the quantity you're mixing, obviously. Make sure that each of those sections are stirred up really well. So the next thing you're gonna wanna do is make sure you have something between the layers of fabric on your article of clothing. So if it's a shirt, you wanna put a piece of cardboard or plastic up in between that covers the whole area that you're gonna be painting on because the paint is watery and it will definitely run through and go straight to the back of the fabric. You can do this method on any kind of clothing you want. You could do it on a dress, skirt, pants, shorts. You just have to make sure that the fabric is light colored. Once you have your flat surface ready, paint your design. I had an issue with one of mine, um, the Among Us shirt was bleeding a little bit, but in the end it ended up having a kind of a cool look to it and I was okay with it. But just beware, don't put too much at a time, just go slow. Once your design is finished, you're gonna let it dry for about 24 hours. Probably could deal with less than that, but I just like to really make sure it's set before I wash it. Not all the paint will stay once you wash it. And that's why this is a better method than just straight acrylic paint. Because if you paint on something with acrylic paint on a fabric, it will stiffen and you'll have this really hard design on your clothing, which is not comfortable to wear. So after it dries for 24 hours, you're going to wash it in the washing machine alone, okay? You don't want to wash this with your, your good whites or anything else that might stain. Wash it alone and then dry it in the dryer if it's something that can be dried or hang it to dry. And then the end result is like this really neat dyed 
fabric look and I just love it. Like I really love how this came out and I'm gonna be doing this on lots more shirts and maybe even other things for sure. It was really fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys had a good result with this method that I came up with. So anyway, um, now you just enjoy your new fashion statement that you made and you are now a designer. I wish you all the best. I am hopeful for the future and I hope you guys are too. Don't be shy to try new things. Don't forget to subscribe if you would like to become a member of the art club and if you want to see more of what we do here in the clubhouse. Goodbye. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> That's scary. Oh,